It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Um, wow, where do I start? This is so nice. What a nice group here. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself in two seconds. <laughs> my name is Dee. It's Dolores, but they call me Dee for short. I guess it's easy to remember Dee. I have a five-year-old son. He's my little guy. He's my little sous chef at home. And he makes macaroni and cheese, and he helps me crack eggs, and, you know. We think one day he's going to be a chef, but he's also into construction. He's into diggers and, you know, cars. And, so who knows? Who knows? Um, my husband is my uh, partner in the business. He's standing in the back. His name is Ron. So meet him later. He, just handle, he handles most of our marketing efforts for the company. Yeah, yay for the husband. We do Caribbean dishes. I'm from the Caribbean. Like I said, I'm from Trinidad. Well, maybe I didn't say that, but I'm from Trinidad. And, uh, but a lot of what I grew up eating was the curries and the spices. And what I asked earlier was, what do you think about spice? Do you think hot, heat? Is that kind of what you normally think? Pretty much. Most people think, well, if it's spicy, then it's got to be really hot. But there are a lot of spices that are not hot. Obviously, we know that. And today, I chose this, these recipes today because I wanted to bring a little bit of my culture, a little bit of the Thai fusion into the Indian um, fusion and kind of mix them together and see how you feel about that and introduce you a little bit to the spices. But this is cardamom, it's a seed, it's like a pod and when I use it I put it in my little grater here, my little coffee grinder actually. They've got this on sale for $25 so if you're interested just so you know, it's fabulous. It really works. Then this is um, a cayenne pepper which you know has capsaicin which is really good for you, it increases your circulation. And uh, people say, well, how do you stay so skinny? How do you stay so slim? Well, it's because I eat a lot of pepper from growing up, and I guess my metabolism's high and my circulation's good. Maybe that's why I have the pepper. And then we've got cumin here, which aids in digestion also, and garam masala, which is a combination of spices, nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, all spices, it's really quite good. And then this is, a, this is a curry here that we're gonna use today. It's an Indian curry powder. And curry powder, you may not know this, but curry powder is uh, a culmination of many spices, right? So it's not just one ingredient. It's got fenugreek, turmeric, cayenne, sometimes, lots of cayenne, depending on the heat level that you're looking for. Um, uh, what else is in there? Black pepper and red, and red pepper, which is the cayenne. All right, so anywho, today and then in the stores, you'll see um, a couple of different curries. Um, the Jamaicans claim a curry, the Trinidadians claim a curry, all the Caribbean islands claim a curry, but the one that I like the most is the Indian curry. This is it right here, it's called Bolts, and they have a hot, medium, mild. I like the hot. And I'll use it today, but I won't make it crazy hot for you, okay? And if you like it really, really hot for those of you that are really into heat, you can try some of my hot sauce. This has got FDA approval and it's very hot. Scotch bonnets, habaneros, and if I tell you the rest, I have to take you out back, you know? <laughs> so try that, it's really good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, in our recipes here, if everybody got a copy, the first recipe we're gonna do is the apple crisp with the Calvados brandy. And then at the bottom, I've got a cardamom, cardamom cream that is a real nice accompaniment with that, which I'll show you later. This is basically a, a crisp that we're gonna to make today. I'm gonna to drain out this water. Okay. And to this, I'm gonna add a couple of items here. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. brown sugar I have here and I'm gonna add about let's say that much what do I guess sorry yeah well a cup for the recipe but remember half of that goes into your mix right so bigger half a cup maybe then we're gonna add this brandy have you ever tried has anybody ever tried this apple brandy it's Calvados that's how you can kind of add a little extra yum yum to whatever you're baking your friends go, what is that? Yeah, it's alcohol, yeah, I'll have two of those. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna find a spoon here. Brown sugar, mixing lovely. And if you don't wanna put brandy in it, because you know, you don't wanna put alcohol, maybe you're serving it for children. I wouldn't wanna put brandy in it if I'm serving it to my son. Do that. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to this, the brandy. Looking for things that's right in front of me. Okay, so a little bit of brandy. Just a little bit. Just a little. Oh, my, was my hand heavy there? Not heavy enough. Well, see, what I like to do is add at the end a little extra at the end. All right, so in our pan, we're going to use today, this is Emerald's Ware, which is really phenomenal. Check out this. How cool is that? It's made with ceramic. It's like that stoneware. I saw that. She said, you can pick whatever you want. I'm like, okay, that and that and that. <laughs> I like doing demonstrations at Macy's. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do, add a little bit of butter to the pan here. And then we're going to pop this baby in the oven. Okay. That's good. Add this with all that lovely juice. Mm. See, we had enough, Jean. We actually had a little too much. Okay. And then, what I do is I prepare the dry mixture already, which was the oats with the butter and the sugar. And I'm just gonna throw that right on the top. Now what you can do with this, I mean, you can get you know, super creative. You can do whatever you want. You can put coconut in here. Why not? Cold. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is our rice dish, which is really good. And I said here it's a jasmine rice, but what we're gonna use instead is a basmati rice. Has anybody ever cooked with basmati rice before? Yeah? What do you like about it? What are some of the things about it that you think, oh man, this is a great rice. What does anybody know about basmati? Anything? Tastes good. Yeah. It has a nutty flavor. Thank you for spoons. It has a nutty flavor. This is a rice that I like to use. Can you see it from here? It's authentic aged rice. Basmati rice is very different from a lot of the other rice that you eat, parboil or Uncle Ben's. You know, we grew up eating Uncle Ben's, which is that converted rice that never seemed to be really white. Like, what's that color? But then my mother turned me on to this. You know, I told you I'm Indian and Portuguese. My mother turned me on to this Indian rice. It's healthy for you. It's very good. It's from the Himalayas. It's actually a dirty, very dirty rice. 